Hi, this is Amazon Master and Professor Essence Project of AI and Technology. Uh, today we are going to discuss about um, the various topics as, uh, in the previous case about the various type of grippers and how it has been used right now. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the same topics and, and different type of grippers. Uh, so as I said that um, in the previous sessions uh, we have discussed about um, um, different material handling uh, grippers. And now we are going to discuss about and the importance of uh, actuation by in, in the form of uh, magnetic grippers and, LR and LR vacuum grippers and everything. So, so this is uh, the permanent magnet gripper. The magnetic gripper offers a way to handle the smallest of workpiece. Um, so the magnetic grippers use a magnetic surface to grab metal items. Uh, this type of grippers does, does not usually incorporate fingers or jaws. Uh, uh, instead, relying on the smooth magnetic surfaces for handling. So, the mechanical grippers are um, uh, commonly used in industries where um, where sheet metal and automotive parts are being moved along the assembly line. While the other uh, other type of uh, manipulators rely on compressed air or hydraulics are to generate on the movement and hold the P workpiece. Uh, uh, the magnetic grippers are used either electromagnets, um, which requires DC power or permanent magnets, which are always on and does not require power to generate. Although ma magnetic arm grippers can have uh, handle a wide range of potential applications, uh, there are pros and cons of by uh, using this uh, various interest levels. As I uh, says that um, it, it requires more number of magnetics after being handled by a magnetic arm gripper with the result even if you manage to pull the gripper away, the newly magnetized piece uh, may attach itself to another piece of material. So, so the one of the another mechanism is that they can only handle ferromagnetic materials rather than compared to other materials. So it is one of the drawback where the magnetic grippers uh, were uh, used to identify the materials. Um, so the next one is uh, everybody knows the vacuum gripper. So the vacuum grippers normally works upon the zero conditions right down. So it is normally used to lift material without any uh, and under zero pressure. These are the different robot arms uh, have been used by using the vacuum grippers. Uh, as I said, these type of uh, are end up to use to uh, uses the suction to lift and manipulate the objects. Uh, they are uh, widely used for robotics palletizing, which is the process of stacking and arranging products on pallets for transporting and storage. So the vacuum grippers have many advantages over the other type of grippers, such as they can handle the variety of objects such as um, boxes, display boxes, cartoons, or some other packed products, and uh, sometimes even bags. Uh, they can lift objects from uh, above without needing to grip them from the sides or below. They can distribute the payload evenly across the object surface, avoiding the deformation or damage. They can be customized to fit different sizes and shapes of objects by adjusting the number and also the position of suction cups. Um, and the above image shows the different type of suction cups of valves. Uh, DK can save energy and reduces noise by using self-closing valves that can only activate when they need it. Um, the vacuum gripper works by using suction to lift place or into a pallet. It consists of electromagnetic pump or a ventricular pump connected to a vacuum head with suction cups or a foam pad. And the vacuum gripper designs and construction even depending upon the application requirement. Uh, some um, grippers have multiple suction cups arranged in an array of in increased gripping capacity and also a flexibility, where others vacuum grippers have form, form panel. So um, the vacuum grips are particularly useful in the situation where traditional mechanical grippers may not be suitable, such as when handled in delicate or irregular shape objects. Um, these are commonly used in industries such as manufacturing or warehousing or logistics. Um, so uh, this is how the vacuum grippers plays a vital role, um, and it also a best option for robotic palletizing as they offer versatility, speed, and reliability. They can improve. Um, uh, what do you say? They they can improve. Um, uh, you know, in productivity and also quality of the palletizing process, uh, which reduces the workload and uh, risk of the injury for human uh, workers. Uh, so apart from that, the another one is uh, bellow type grippers. As you said, the bellow type grip name itself shows um, uh, the, well, this pallet, deep pallet, when the taper is, it cannot be able to hold the object. When it is energized or palletized, it can uh, grasp the object to lift upwards. Uh, so uh, this is normally used for a syndical surface. Um, it is suitable for utilizing a glass trauma bladder to contact the part. Uh, it is inflated with an um, uh, corresponded air causing it to expand and grasp the part. When the air is released, the bladder.
the grippers has been used to handle the various materials and depends upon the materials depend upon the characterization the materials has been used so these are the some of the reference we have taken for um, uh, today's class and uh, mostly i have to say that um, the different suction gaps and different material handling process and different condition requirements the different type of material handling uh, grippers are used to obtain the different um, values uh, so in order to obtain this uh, there is a need of an emergency where the uh, material has to be take place into considerations and, uh, and where the materials are used to collect the data and so uh, the uh, gripper type also depends upon the uh, sorry end effectors also depend upon the tools where the specific applications is used like uh, painting or assembly sessions or whatever the sales we are needed they can use this type of applications where the, the materials has been used into particular order to get the most number of advantages over the several particles so this is how uh, the gripper mechanism plays an vital role and uh, depending upon the object and depending upon the material we are choosing to work under so in the next video we are going to discuss about the another topics uh, related to the natuation mechanism till then uh, signing off by samsung assistant professor ssn school of technology bye bye